clear. Top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. of its line of fire. against the Spectre.
Aloy, she's... Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for, then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. If I can figure out how that thing works, maybe the Zeniths won't be so invincible after all. to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zeniths. I should check on the clone, too. Burl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. Welcome back. Aloy, I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us? Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenith got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better check on the clone before I head back out there. Yes. She retreated to the maintenance corridor directly below us. Varl is with her. Right. Thanks, Gaia. Aloy! Glad you- She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh... It's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I... don't understand. Sun removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's it's primitive, but I can make it work. 
Yeah. Booting up. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet. And now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you are... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered. The tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia Colonel, they'll have a hard time doing that. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you... Want to come upstairs, or...? So how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Guy is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Guy is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single... To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now. Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything, everyone, they're gonna die. Hey, calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. So I guess we won't be making use of Silent's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. 
but I can't let it distract me. I still have two more subfunctions to get. out on a good trade. I need vegetarian from what I'm reading all the old ones wanted to eat was this stuff called chocolate data for that machine yet. I better look in more cauldrons.
I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're going. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders have. warriors everywhere. Regala's army only grows in strength. Regala's forces may seem strong now, but... Her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still, they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Lai. <laughs> yes, you are known to us. I am Dekka, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaru. Not quite. There's, there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief. All right. Let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room, at the far end of the grove. Come. Be welcome among the records of the Ten. It's glitched. Incomplete. Chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? 
I'm ready. Good. Come. underneath the throne. I will see you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. And a man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of Marshal slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now? And taking what I need to save everyone? You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Route. I've sent out a call for the competition. But since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the cool route. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit? Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Katala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. I'll do what you want, and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised, if you succeed. Speak to Deca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. The chief said you must speak with Deca. 
Hikaru said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way, and our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Machines and rebels. Nothing I haven't faced before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. If I'm gonna get ether, guess I'll have to play along with Hikaru. I better meet up with Marshal Catalo at Stonecrest. It'll be faster if I ride a machine.
one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given rite of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. This must be Stonecrest. Patolo should be waiting for me. But maybe I should look around first. This valley is infested with Regalas rebels. The scouts from the village tell us that they've been moving machines through here for days. Some they ride, others they herd along, and some they even strip for parts, especially cannons. The path ahead will not be easy. We should get going. My orders are to guide you to the bulwark so that you can speak to Dakota. For all the good it'll do. Not so fast. I'm gonna need a little more than that. So, what's the plan? The bulwark is to the southwest. So undoubtedly we'll have to cross paths with Rogala's troops along the way. We'll either have to fight our way through, or find a way to sneak past unnoticed. Neither will be easy. Never is. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get this over with. I'll join you then. On me. I don't fight. How would you convince Dakota to send his challengers? I wouldn't. <sighs> Come on. To knock the respect of the lead and the strength of the fighter who wields it. How good is anyone who lacks that? Katalo. What are you doing? Do you want every rebel to see you? Catalo. I have my orders, and I'll see them through. Now come this way. Yeah. 
Onwards to the bulwark. Those rebels were gathering machine parts, maybe to make more overrides. And Takote won't do anything? Why would he, when he has the bulwark? I grew up behind the wall. It's easy to have a full sense of safety there. More rebels in the tree. Take the lead. Okay, okay. Take the lead. Anything out there? Could you see the road? Wow, this rain ever stop? Okay, patience. No one to be found. Call it off. You had me there for a second. They're down. Did you see that? Thing? Oh, fallen party. Oh. Stash this away for later. Come this way. Okay. 
Back at Stonecrest, you saw the rebels have been moving through here for days. By the time Takote realized he's outmatched, this entire valley might be overrun. If not for the sake of the rest of the clan, I would welcome that day. To see his pride ruin. Okay, well... Maybe we can change his mind. Here it is. The bulwark. Let me know when you are ready, and I will announce us. You there! A marshal requests an audience with your clan commander! I didn't know there were any marshals left. We defend the path to the mountain, where the wings of the Ten shall find us. All right, Marshal. I'll send the lift for you. again. So this was home. A long time ago. Come on. Hit Arter, soldier. He's not made of straw. Is that Hollow? What's he doing with an outland? That's a terrible wound. Blood of the ten. The last marsh. That wound. Well, this is a warm welcome. An outlander and a maimed marshal. A spectacle. Reminds me of where I grew up. I never decided which was worse. When they shunned me, or when they stopped and stared. Right now. We're here for Takote. Let us in. Sky Clan's mighty son returns. Bless the Ten. Your chief has demanded an immediate dispatch of all challengers to the Cool Root. We're here to make sure yours haven't gotten lost on their way to the Grove. I see. Regala must have dealt our chief a mighty blow. If he's sending you two as messengers. This one defeated Regala's champion, Grutta, at the embassy. She fought honorably. I had the sense to bar our soldiers from that embassy. Just as I have the sense now, to keep our challengers here. If they must fight, then they will fight here. Defending our walls. Our clan. That wall won't protect you. Not from the machines Regala controls. They're already at your doorstep. <laughs> and what do you know of the battles that the Bulwark has withstood? The blood shed upon stone. I know it wasn't meant to be used as a coward's shield. You were a great warrior once. But that was then. You tell Hakaro, with all due respect, that we will keep our challengers here for as long as we are safe behind the bulwark. I told 
told you. Woods are useless with his kind. We're gonna have to kill him. It won't be easy with all his men above. Are you even listening? For as long as we are safe behind the bulwark, he said. Wait here. I need to get a closer look at that wall. What? Why? be as strong as Dakota thinks it is. I need to get down to the basement and check it out. Beaten already, Outlander. Oh, just you wait. Walking on her. Oh, the snow's dampening sounds. I need to get a little distance from the wall in order to scan it properly. Okay, time to scan the wall. Okay, time to scan the wall. Just what I thought. There's something metal in there. Oh, that rock is interfering with the scan. I need to get closer. But how? I might be able to climb up on the left side of the wall. Near that waterfall. Could try my focus. See what it picks up. Water coming from. The water's flowing into the wall. Oh, it's a hollow. That's another way. I'll try at them. Wait now. Better scan that tank again. Here. Better go find Catalo. said you've been scurrying around the wall like a rat. What in the name of the town have you been up to? Takote said he wouldn't send his challengers as long as they're safe behind the bulwark. Right? Don't remind me. So? We take it down. Did you hit your head on the way down here? I'm serious. There's something from the old world stuck in there, and it has a power cell. I could blow it up if I just penetrate the first layer of rock and Even metal. Even if what you're saying is true, it would take a cannon to do that. You're right. And you said the rebels were stripping them off machines back in the valley. Come on. No. I'm not getting dragged further into this madness. Hikaru ordered you to help me. 
You gonna defy him like that arrogant shit up there? That was an unkind comparison. The rebels might have made camp northeast of here. And then what? The two of us go up against all of them? Pretty much, yeah. But I don't like sense. I don't like courage. So, um, back there with Dakote, it seemed like there's bad blood between you two. There is. If we make it through this plan, perhaps I'll tell you. I'll hold you to that. Looks like the Rebels just got a lot more firepower. Ready? Move out! Focus on the others. I'll follow you in. <laughs> 